have a continuous security monitoring so that you know at any point whether you're compliant to your policies, you can watch out for threats that you need to manage. Having an approach and set of tools to manage security and compliance posture is very important. So gaining insights about your posture, compliance, and threats. So from your deployment environment, you can garner information. It can be security events, audit logs, flow logs from network or system that can be fed in so that you can figure out what your posture and complaints and threats are. And not only it's important for you to gain insight, you need to have actionable intelligence so that you can start to remediate. You may figure out there's a vulnerability, a container image that you have deployed is vulnerable, so you can re-spin the container, so you can remediate and spin up a new container. There may be a particular access from a network that seems to be coming in from a suspicious network um, IP address, so you can block that. So ability to gain visibility and insights and having that insights and turn it into actionable intelligence and remediate is very important. So let's talk about DevOps. DevOps is about development and operations. Traditionally, we think about, okay, there's an application team that is doing the design and architecture who are building code, and then you throw it over the wall for the enterprise security team to secure it and manage it. That should be rethought. Fundamentally, it's not just about dev and ops, but security need to be a forethought, not an afterthought. So it should become sec dev ops approach to your, the way you build, manage, and run your applications. So you need to embed security into the entire life cycle, what we call shift left. Not only you manage security, but shift left through the entire process. You need to have a secure design. So as you plan, as you design and say, what kind of data am I going to put? What level of classification? What kind of applications am I building? Is it container-based? Is it uh, a workload that I'm migrating? Take that into account and what integrations you need to do so that you can plan it and architect it. Then as you build it, embed security as part of the process. So that you have security aware applications. For example, you may want to encrypt data. If it is sensitive data, you may want to encrypt the data from your applications before you even you store into a data store. So secure build. And you manage security as part of Sec DevOps. As you have secure design and architecture, you pass on that and build secure applications and deploy and manage security in a continuous fashion. And then you have a closed loop so that whatever you find, you may need to remediate or re-architect your application or re-implement certain things as threats landscape evolve. In the next video, we will look at identity and access management.